Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about all the reasons that Rec Room is better than school. From not having homework to being able to mute all the bullies and fake people. So let's get started. Number one, Rec Room doesn't have teachers. In school, you have a variety of teachers. Some of them might be super nice and give very little homework, but others, oof. They seem to be perpetually in a bad mood, ready to dole out extra homework just to spite the class and power trip over students constantly. The only teacher figure in Rec Room is Coach, and she's fairly predictable. She might interrupt you with an Welcome to Rec Room. For your first day, we have a quick orientation to show you what Rec Room is Thanks, all Coach. about. Thanks, Coach. Anyway, as I was saying, Coach is kind to players and cares about fairness and equality. This is a welcome change from real life, where getting a good teacher is hit and miss. Number two, Rec Room doesn't have dumb rules. Compared to school, which has an insane amount of rules, Rec Room is a breeze. At real school, you are restricted on what you can wear, when you can take a break. Not hungry? Too bad. It's lunchtime now and your only chance to eat food. Want to use your cell phone? Talk to your friend during class? You'll probably get scolded and immediately told to stop. The rules go on and on. No running in the halls. No handing in your homework late. No talking back. In rec room, you can hang out in the gym, aka the rec center, all day and shoot hoops with your friends or just chat. The only rules are logical. Don't be a toxic jerk face. Otherwise, just do your thing. Number three, orientation is like the first day of school, only way better. I'm sure you remember the first day at a new school. You have no idea where to go. And does anyone care? No. They all seem to have directions, swarming around you like a sea of disgruntled fish as you feel invisible and terrible about yourself. Is it over yet? You look at the clock and the day has barely started. In rec room, orientation immediately greets you with a positive attitude and coach takes your hand, guiding you through the new school and pointing out important features along the way. People hate on orientation, but it doesn't even compare to the atrocious internal battle that facing a new school causes. Number four, you can choose your classes. In Rec Room, you don't even have to take a class if you don't want to, but if you decide to embark on an educational journey, you can find whichever one suits your skill level and artistic abilities. In real school, you're told which classes you'll attend at least up until a certain grade. Math, English, physical education, history, you're not escaping any of those gems. Do you at least get to choose the order in which you'd like to attend those classes to spread out the devastation? No. Of course not. There's also no pressure in Rec Room. If you count the pressure you feel when you're the lone survivor in Golden Trophy and your friends are screaming at you not to fail, then sure. But I think that's scarcely comparable to the pressure most students feel on a daily basis from their teachers, parents, and themselves to perform and get good grades. The goblins in Golden Trophy aren't going to bark at you about deciding which college to attend, and they certainly aren't going to advise you that your bow or sword skills aren't exactly A+. They just don't care. Number five, Rec Room has no schedule. In school, you have a set schedule, one that works for probably less than 10% of all people Wake up early, force feed yourself breakfast, and show up on time. Breaks are few and far in between, never lasting long enough. Unless you don't have friends, then they last far too long as you try to look busy and less like a complete loner. In Rec Room, you can come and go as you please. Hide in your dorm room all day if you choose. Spend an hour just rearranging pizza in the rec center. No one's gonna yell at you to stop and switch activities. Well, except maybe your parents. Being in VR, playing a game, doesn't make you invisible, unfortunately. Number six, you can mute and avoid bullies in Rec Room. Rec Room bullies are a different breed. They're essentially the same toxic people you find on the internet, but in avatar form. They're still hiding behind the anonymity of being a stranger and think they can get away with murder because of it. Sometimes I wonder, where are the parents? But unlike real life bullies, these ones can be muted and blocked. Walking away and heading to a new instance of a room means that they have less power. You can literally avoid them. In school, there is no such feature, so the bully will keep popping up on a daily basis, ready to give you a dirty look, shoot an insult your way, or get their crony friends to team up and make your life hell. If only there was a mute button in real life. Rec Room also has less fake people. In the game, you'll quickly find that if someone doesn't want to hang out, they'll just ignore your invites. I think there's something to be said about the general behavior of people who play a video game all the time. Collectively, these kinds of people are just less catty and more understanding. Perhaps, dare I say, unwilling to cause drama. In real life, things are catty and rife with gossip. School is a cesspool for fake, popular people who say one thing and do another. Number seven, Rec Room doesn't have homework and deadlines. I guess if you're on a build team and there's a contest, you might have deadlines, but that's about the only time I can think of there being pressure to complete a project in-game. Everything is done at your own pace. This method may seem unorthodox to some, but I've seen the amazing results from creative people working at their own leisure. Forcing people to work under tight deadlines like school does seems to often have the opposite effect. Students end up unmotivated, not wanting to start working when they feel like a huge daunting task is due the next day or in a week. I think real school should take a page out of the Rec Room world, maybe people would be more relaxed and productive. Number eight, 
Dodgeball in Rec Room hits differently. In real life, dodgeball is a cesspool of toxicity. People purposely whip those things like they're out for blood. Some random, strong, beefy kid will be leaving welts on everyone with their seemingly superhuman strength as people cower in the corner, trying to hide. I feel like most people have PTSD from this game. However, in Rec Room, everyone is mainly on an equal playing field. And the most annoying thing that happens is the occasional player hiding in the back and bouncing around like they just ate a pound of sugar. Being hit doesn't hurt at all, and the rounds go by much faster. Number nine, the food is better quality. Rec Room has several types of decadent looking pizza, hot lattes, glazed donuts, salted pretzels, popcorn, and high quality root beer. Compare this to school lunches, which sometimes look more akin to prison food than an actual nutritious meal, and it's clear who wins in this category. Number 10, if you're suspended, you can come back. I don't condone this for the record, as it can lead to worse consequences, but if you're suspended from school or expelled, you're forced to leave for that time or find a new school. In Rec Room, a suspension or a ban can technically be circumvented with an alt account. Real life doesn't track just IP addresses, they know what you look like, so you can't just come back uninvited like nothing happened. In Rec Room, you can do exactly that. Make a new account and pretend that your past discretions don't exist. Well, those are my 10 reasons why Rec Room is better than school. Let me know in the comments if you have anything to add, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.